Hi everyone, Officer Potak. Hi, it's Officer Best. And you can see we're on location at Jandal Turkey Farm. So before we even do anything, we have to give our thanks and our gratitude to David, Kathy, and Luke Jandal mm -hmm. for allowing us on their farm, to allowing us to interact with their turkeys, and setting all this up so we could share the, our experiences with you. And we just want to say, if you watch our other videos, um, we were in with the turkeys. It was a pretty neat experience. I didn't know turkeys were that friendly and that curious. So the whole time we're reading, they were like pecking at us. Doesn't hurt. They weren't, um, even when they pecked your fingers, it didn't hurt. But it was really neat to see how friendly and how curious the turkeys were. Of course, that was the female turkeys. Absolutely. We were not letting the male turkeys out of the pen. They were a little bit more aggressive, um, but you can hear them in the background. They were very excited to have us there. Um, and today's book we're going to read is Turkeys Together. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I followed the scent. Hey dog, what are you looking for? A small voice called. Birds, I answered. Why? The small voice asked. I am a pointer bird dog, I answered. Also known as a German short hair pointer. My mom actually breeds those dogs. So this book is uh, dedicated to my mother. We are reading a book about your dogs. <laughs> Interesting. I'm looking for quail. You are not a quail, are you? I'm a hummingbird, the voice said. Then the tiny blue bird flew away. Yeah, these German short hair pointers are very nice dogs, but they have a lot of energy. So if you want one of these dogs, make sure you have property for it to run on. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I whiffed the ground. Tweet. A whistle came from above. What are you looking for, dog? I looked around. Tweet. The whistle came again. You are not a quail. Are you a hummingbird? I asked. I am a big, mean, strong mockingbird, the bird said. Go look for quails someplace else. The mockingbird flew away. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I followed my nose. Gobble. Feather wings puffed up. You smell like a bird, I said. You smell like a bird today, too. <laughs> oh, we both smell like bird. <laughs> you live on the ground like a quail, but you are way too big. I am a turkey, mother turkey to you. Go away. She shook her wings. She meant business. I'm a pointer. I'm supposed to find birds, I said. Listen, dog, I have to protect my nest, she said. Someone's been taking my eggs. No dog is going to point at me. I took a step forward. I don't have to be with those turkeys. I'm not messing with them. No. <laughs> Do you have any babies yet? The bird's big wings flapped in my face. Her feet hit my back. I ran home as fast as I could. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I was close to the nest. Mother Turkey crouched low in the tall grass. Mother Turkey, it's me. May I see your eggs? I stepped closer. Look, dog, someone stole another one of my eggs. I can't even leave my nest. I can't find food for myself. Go away. How many eggs do you have? I asked. There are only seven now. I had 13. Mother Turkey fluffed her feathers. Who do you think took your eggs? I asked. Maybe a skunk. I don't know. She looked very sad. I jumped to my feet. I'll find your eggs. Just stay away from my nest. Mother Turkey settled down on the eggs. I sniffed high. I sniffed low. I kept my nose to the ground. Woof! I barked at a raccoon. Do you have Mother Turkey's eggs? Raccoon hissed. I don't have anybody's eggs. Raccoon waddled off. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I smelled something new. Oh, I'm not sniffing in this one. No. Ooh. <laughs> it was not a good smell. Mama Skunk and her four babies pranced by. Their noses were in the air. Their bushy tails were straight up. But they had not seen Mother Turkey's eggs. You know you can have skunks for pets, right? Yeah, I heard I that. always wanted one, yeah. but they take the this, this stink gland out of them. <laughs> I headed back home. 
I would find those eggs tomorrow. Suddenly, I smelled something. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I wiggled my nose. Hey, mother turkey, where are you going? I called to her. But the big turkey turned around. I'm Mrs. Turkey, who are you? The turkey fluffed her feathers. I'm, I'm dog. I'm looking for your missing eggs. Did you forget? I asked. How did you know about my eggs? The turkey wanted to know. You told me this morning. Don't you remember? I asked. Opossum took my eggs. He's already taking five of them. I had ten. But I didn't tell you. I looked at her carefully. You're not my mother turkey. I am Mrs. Turkey. I have to go. I watched as the big bird hustled through the bush. Then I ran as fast as I could to Mother Turkey's nest. Fingers don't want to turn the pages. Know, it's, <laughs> it's a little cold. cold out here. It's cold out here. Mother Turkey, it's me. I know what happened to your eggs. I barked. Oh no, not you again. Mother Turkey careful, covered her eggs carefully. I found another turkey. Someone is stealing her eggs too. I have an idea. I don't want to lose another egg, she said. What is your idea? Opossum stealing her eggs. She's afraid to leave her nest too. Mother Turkey looked up at me. So what should we do? Let's put the nest together. That way one can sit on all the eggs, the other can watch and hunt for food. I don't know, Mother Turkey said. My babies won't know their real mother. If you don't, you might not have any babies. I can help, I said. I ran back and forth between the two nests. Then the turkeys talked it over. They liked each other. Once they decided to let me help, things went pretty fast. Be careful with my eggs. Don't bite down, Miss Turkey directed. I'll be very careful. I know how to retrieve. Gently, I took an egg in my mouth. Miss Turkey stood guard at her nest. I moved each egg to Mother Turkey's nest. Put it right here, dog. Mother Turkey leaned over to give me room. I sat the egg down under her soft feathers. Can't let them get cool, she said. Like we are, getting very <laughs> cool. I picked up the last egg. Miss Turkey followed me to Mother Turkey's nest. Hello, dear, said Mother Turkey. Please sit on my nest. I'll go for a short hunt. I think we have the best eggs in the world, don't you? They're working together like we do. I know, right? Aww. <laughs> Mother Turkey stood over the nest. She gently climbed over the eggs and sat down. I believe it is the best nest in the whole world. Sometimes, when I was not looking for quail, I would come and watch the nest. Then Miss Turkey and Mother Turkey could get something to eat. We need a little buddy like this. I know. <laughs> the eggs finally hatched. Mother Turkey was right. The babies weren't sure who their mother was. Sometimes they followed Miss Turkey. Sometimes they followed Mother Turkey. Sometimes they followed me. That was fine. We all loved our babies very much. It's kind of like how we love our kids very I much know. in the schools. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that is Turkeys Together. That was a good book. That was. I like that book. And yep. again, like I said, this is a German short hair pointer dog. They are bird dogs. So if you're a bird hunter, you would take this type of dog and they would run in the fields and chase the birds out. And then the hunter would do what they needed to do. Yeah, no, I don't hunt. I don't hunt either. My family's hunters, but I am not. So well, I'll tell you what, we're getting out of the cold. Yeah, it's freezing. Yep, we're really cold. So having said that, we'd like to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of jambal turkey if you can. Um, and cake. Don't and forget cake. the cake. Right, right. <laughs> and make sure that before you get to the table, before you sit down, you wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.